How to Sterilize a Needle Sterilization and disinfecting needles are two different practices. Disinfecting kills most of the bacteria and contaminants, while sterilization kills all of them. If you need to sterilize a needle, make sure to take extra care to keep the needle uncontaminated until you use it. Part 1 Preparing to Sterilize the Needle 1. Wear Gloves Before you handle any needles, you need to wear gloves. If you don't have gloves, make sure you wash your hands and wrists thoroughly. 2. Gather Sterilized Equipment When you are sterilizing needles, you need to make sure that you don't contaminate the needle after you sterilize it. Use sterilized tongs or spoons to pick the needle out of whatever device you place it in. Don't touch the newly sterilized needle with your hands or gloves. You could have contaminants on them. Place the needle in a sterilized container if you are storing it. 3. Wash the needle. Before you sterilize the needle, make sure to wash it. This removes any dirt, grime, or blood left on the needle. This is extremely important if you have used the needle before. Make sure to clean inside the needle if it is hollow. Use a clean or sterilized syringe to run water and soap through the inside. 4. Rinse the needles. After washing the needles with soap or disinfectant, you need to rinse them with sterile water. Make sure to use sterile water instead of distilled water. Distilled water can still contain bacteria. You need to rinse the needles to make sure there are no deposits from the washing left behind. Part 2 Sterilizing the Needle 1. Use Steam Steam is one of the most widely used and effective methods for sterilizing needles. When sterilizing with steam, you can use a pressure cooker set at 15 pounds per square inch. Leave the needle in the pressure cooker at the following temperatures and durations. 240 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. 260 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 3 minutes. You can also use a steaming pot to do this instead of a pressure cooker. Put water in the bottom pot. When it starts to boil, place the needle in the pot with the holes over the boiling pot, then cover it with a lid. Let it steam for at least 20 minutes. An autoclave is a tool specifically made for sterilizing needles and other tools by steam. If you need to sterilize needles often and precisely, you may want to invest in one. 2. Bake the needle Wrap the needle in multiple layers of clean cloth. Bake the needle for one hour at 340 degrees Fahrenheit. This is one way to completely sterilize the needle by killing all the microorganisms. Make sure you leave it in the oven long enough. This method can be used to sterilize needles used for acupuncture, medical use, and piercings and tattoos. Dry heat can cause the needle to become brittle. 3. Use fire. Use a gas fueled fire because they leave less residue behind. Place the needle tip in the flame until it glows red. Sterilizing a needle in a flame is good for home use but doesn't get completely sterile because the needle can pick up contaminants in the air afterwards. If there are any soot or carbon deposits on the needle, wipe it with a sterile gauze pad. This method is effective for removing a splinter, but is not the most sterile. Therefore, it is not recommended for piercing, tattooing, or medical uses. 4. Boil the needle in water one way to sterilize a needle is to drop it in boiling water. You can also pour boiling water over it. This is a good method to use at home, however, this method is not 100% effective. 
boiling can leave some microorganisms behind. Some microorganisms can't be killed even with over 20 hours of boiling. Boiling works on metals. Leave the needle in the water for 10 minutes. To be more thorough that you've killed everything, cover the pot and boil for up to 30 minutes. This method can be used for things like removing a splinter or home body jewelry care, but not for things like sterilizing medical supplies or tools and jewelry in a shop. 5. Use Chemicals You can sterilize a needle by using chemicals. Soak in the mixture for at least 20 minutes, unless it's drinking alcohol. If you use drinking alcohol, soak it in that solution for an entire day. You can rinse the needle in the following chemicals. Rubbing alcohol. Bleach. If it's 5% available chlorine, you can use it undiluted. If it is 10%, use one part bleach to one part water, for 15%. Use one part bleach to two parts water. Hydrogen peroxide. Gin or vodka. Warnings. For blister popping, wipe off the needle when you fire sterilize it because the outer layer of the metal can leave that black trace and it can come off into the blister and infect it. Avoid touching the ends of the needle after sterilizing it.